Hi, it's from the Math Easy Solutions. We're going to discuss uh, some related rates, basically go over an introduction and also go over a pretty useful example on it, basically. Um, introduction, if you're, for example, if you're pumping air into a balloon, both the volume and the radius are increasing. For example, here's just a balloon. You're obviously going to get the volume bigger and also the radius is going to be bigger at the same time. So those are related and also the rates of increase are also related to, to each other. The faster this, this expands, the radius will obviously get bigger faster. Uh, but uh, but it is much easier to measure directly the rate of increase of the volume than it is the, the rate of the radius. Because for example, we could just put in a bunch of air. If we know how much air we put in, we could easily find a volume. And this is because yeah, we can easily pump a known volume of air, for example, yeah, without worrying about the geometry uh, which we would need if measuring the radius, uh, which we would need the geometry and, and some other equations or, or, or some sort of uh, equipment to measure how much the volume, um, the radius is changing. Uh, so it's much easier in this case for volume. But, but basically, uh, in overall, in the related rates pro problem, the idea is yeah, is to compute basically the rate of change of one quantity in terms of the rate of change of another quantity which may be more easily measured. And a procedure is basically to find an equation that relates the two quantities and then use the chain rule to differentiate both sides with respect to time. And I'll go over what the basically this idea in this example. So what this one says, air is being pumped into a spherical balloon so that's volume increases at a rate of 100 centimeters cubed per second. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the diameter is 50 centimeters right here? Well, we know that uh, basically if you have a balloon, let's say it's spherical, so we have, uh, let's say, radius r right here, and obviously r radius is equal to, well, d over t 2, so this would be, so we basically needed to find it out at r equals to 25, what is the rate of increase? We could go as basically this. This we could call this as the rate of increase, r prime, and this equals to dr over dt. So the derivative with respect to time at this uh, r equals to 25. Given that the overall volume, we could just go overall volume like this, etc., is equal to well, let's say. So we know the volume, but then we call this let's call this expansion here. So v prime equals to d v over dt and we know that this is basically 100 centimeters cubed per second so that's how much air is being pumped in uh, per second so we got to basically find out what this value is right here and to do that like this uh, introduction stated we got to find an equation that relates the two quantities so first we got to relate v and r and we know that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed yeah, so this is the equation that relates the two, and now we can use chain rule. And also, just a note, I'll, I'll do a proof of this in a later video once I do integrals, etc. You could prove this using integral calculus that the volume is actually this. So we have this one right here. So now if we take derivative uh, in, in respect to time, so dv over dt equals 2, because uh, remember, r is a function of t, so we have to take derivative of this and, and then use chain rule. So this one will bring the 3 down. So we'll have 4, because 3's will cancel, using power rule, pi, this is r squared, and now we have to use chain rule and find dr over dt, and now we can f solve for dr over dt, so basically dr over dt equals 2, yeah, equals 2 now, uh, we just basically divide this whole thing out to the right side, or I'll just go r, r prime is, is equal to, this is the same thing as v prime, that's just this, v prime is equal to this. Uh, just to make it easier to write. Now divided by 4 pi r squared right here. So there is our function for uh, the, the rate of change of the radius. But and also make a note that this is not constant because it depends on what the volume is. The base, I mean what the radius is. As you increase in volume, the radius will change and then it will become basically slower because it's dividing by it. So it will increase slower as opposed to this one's a constant volume we're putting in. So uh, so now if we, if we solve for it at r equals to 25 centimeters, we get now r prime is equal to v prime, which is always 100 centimeters cubed per second, divided by now 4 pi times it by now uh, 25 squared, and this is going to be seconds, uh, I mean centimeters squared when we square them. 
right here and obviously the, the centimeters will cancel we'll, ha we'll be left with one centimeter and divided by second as we should because radius is just a one it's just a unit of centimeters per second here or, I mean, just centimeters divided by second as a rate so now this part here divided by 100 we could be 25 over 25 this would equal to well we can cancel this to be 25 this is going to be cancelled so we'll be left with 1 over pi times 25 centimeters so I'll write the centimeters out right here so centimeters per second so this is the answer and uh, you could uh, in, if you do an exam you can just leave it like this or you can plug in a calculator if you have one and if you do plug in a calculator you get basically 0 0.01 3-ish, so it's around there, centimeters per second increase right here, which is uh, which is quite a bit because number every second you're increasing, and after 10 seconds you're gonna get uh, around 0 0.1, 0 0.2 centimeters, and then after a minute you're gonna get much more. Well, anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this related rates pr problem, I'm gonna go over some more in later videos, and remember you can always download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.